Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Rowan and we're playing Dragon Age 2. So we're continuing on where we left off in our last episode, which was... Uh, well, it's the main quest is where we're going to start. In our last few episodes, we basically just went around helping our friends, Meryl, Aveline, Anders, Sebastian. Actually, Sebastian didn't have any quests for us. Um, we did that earlier. But anyway, we're done helping friends and all we have left is main quests. Side quests are done, with the exception of this one here. Um, yeah. I think we're going to be alright. We're going to go ahead and do uh, this one, where we're going to go find out who kidnapped the Kunari uh, delegation from meeting with a Viscount. Somebody trying to cause trouble, no doubt. Let's go find out. We're supposed to go to the Hangman for this at night. Let's do it. Hello, Orwald. So he comes down wearing nothing but a lot of coin for this place. That's right, pal. Tonight I'm paid and blessed, and all I had to do was turn my head. To all my friends. Hey, step back. I know important people. We're going to show this city what to do with heathen oxmen. If you ever see an option to call on a companion, use it. You'll gain favor. Guard captain, would you like to have a word with your man? Guard captain? Who? What? <gasps> Who? Who what? I don't... Who bought you? Who bought the honor of a proud guard of Kirkwall and made him a drunken Mabari bitch? I don't... I don't know. He was a Templar. I swear. He had the seal of the Grand Cleric and everything. It's true. The penalty for abandoning your post is ten days on the wall. I expect you to report in the morning. Uh-huh. Hmm. <laughs> There's your answer. A Templar. With the Grand Cleric seal, no less. Well done. Not that that's the answer we wanted to hear. Somebody with the backing of the Chantry, maybe? Probably not. We already talked to the Grand Cleric, and she didn't seem to want to antagonize the Kunari. So, you're taking the Captain of the Guard to accuse the Grand Cleric of funding Zealots? Don't forget the kidnapped Kunari. That too. Some days, Hawk. Well, maybe we don't have to accuse. The Grand Cleric, please. Tell her... Tell her... Three Kunari leave an estate. And let her finish. Sarah Hawk. Sister Patrice. Mother Patrice. Time has changed us both. Grand Cleric Elfina cannot grant an audience to just anyone. What do you want? Funny how you and issues with the Kunari seem to go together. And you always assume their side. I was naive when last we met. I did not want you dead. But I felt a death was necessary. That may be too fine a point for you to understand. But you must admit, you came out the better for it. I know you, and I know someone is abusing the Grand Cleric's seal. Who are you to question who serves her grace? I am sorry, but I see no reason to let you pass. How about the fact that her authority was used to abduct Kunari? A pause that says you knew. 
But does her grace? The Grand Cleric trusts her stewards to enact the wishes of the Maker. It sounds like you've been bad. This will shock her grace, no doubt. Stubborn. All right, Sarah Hawk. If you won't abandon this, let me offer you something. The Templar you seek is a radical who has grown unreliable. Confronting him may do us all a favor. And his relation to you is? He is my former bodyguard, Ser Vonnell. Assume what you wish, but I offer him to you as reconciliation. Meet me at this location. I invite you, Sarah Hawk. Come see the unrest these Kunari have inspired. Need I say I'm skeptical? It's her game for the moment. Why don't we just go to the Grand Chancer? She's right there. Or the Grand Cleric, sorry. Are you all right? I nearly killed an innocent girl. How could I be all right? I'm sorry. You're sorry? For me? This could be you. You could be the next monster threatening helpless girls. Anders, there's no such thing as a good spirit. There never was. All spirits are dangerous. I understood that. I'm sorry that you didn't. Hmm, oh. Fighting words, man. Although the... I know that the Dalish look at spirits differently than basically humans and the chantry and all that it's not as spirits and demons good spirits and demons nice place for a rally good choice van hell patrice is here somewhere wonderful all right let's get all of our little what's it knots together sustains how come they had it already and we did not? Remove the fangs and it is lost. They are weak before the faithful of the Maker. The only certainty in their precious cune is death before the righteous. Sevonel! Take a knee, faithful. The Chantry blesses us. You claim a blessing when you have used the authority of the Grand Cleric so openly? You have brought wrath down upon you. You remember, Sarah Hawk? The Kunari have friends, Templar. How will you answer their allegations? You want a fight? Face someone whose weapons are not bound. Templars are cowards. They only pick on those whose lives they already hold in their hands. Righteous! Destroy them! Whoa! Look at all these conveniently clustered enemies. Let's use Chain Lightning on Sir Varnell first. Then we use 
Tempest. Woohoo! Nice. Damn it, seriously. Where are the heels at? <laughs> wow. That again, huh? This is definitely a much harder fight than I thought it would be. Where's the Mythal's favor? There it is. Where the hell is Aveline?
Wow, that was kind of worse. To bring this mess to the Viscount's attention. Madness. Madness. That's a word for it. Chantry involvement. Even if they are fringe elements. Oh, it could not be worse. The Chantry has seen the abuses the Templars get away with. Why would they not think to do the same? You killed them. All of them? A mother serving the Grand Cleric allowed this to happen. Are you quite sure? She held a blade with them? Told them to fight you? No, I cannot say that. Of course not. Blasted mother. You have no idea the storm these allegations would cause. It would destroy what support I do have. This may have scared her off. She claimed this was not her intention. Well, that is something. I will make my inquiries, gently. And you should be careful in your associations. For now, we have other problems. More? I have the delegate, but... I can't return the bodies to the Canari in this state. Sarah Hawk. You know the Arishok. What should I do? Hiding this would only make it worse. It would, wouldn't it? I'm losing my sense of how to balance this nightmare. I appreciate your help in this matter. As bad as this is, it could have been much worse without you. Kirkwall owes you. I owe you. Good to owe. Good to have somebody that owes us. In a position of power. Guys, I've got the Viscount in my pocket. I'm just kidding. Well, we got a level at least. Everybody died. Except for me and Meryl. Oh, wow. I think that's for Aveline. Oh, thank goodness you're here. I thought you went to the Hanged Man. And I almost went there to look for you first, but then I thought you might have gone to see your uncle instead. And I'm rambling, aren't I? I don't mind. You're adorable when you're flustered. After you left, I... I couldn't stop thinking about Paul and the mirror and everything that's happened. I wonder if... I've made a mistake. Leaving the Dalish. You're just feeling homesick. Don't second guess yourself. I suppose if I hadn't left my people, I never would have met you. 
If you were Danish, my people would have a kingdom by now. Wow, what a compliment. And half of Thedas would be attacking us. <laughs> True. So maybe things worked out for the best. Does it bother you that I'm human? No, I'm not saying I change you for... I'm making things worse, aren't I? I just... I'm one of the Elven. I'm supposed to preserve who we are, and if I... There are reasons that it's bad to... Is it warm in here? Elgonon. <laughs> I doubt that I'd have unified the elves and ushered in a golden age. If you were an elf, Master Hawk, birds would swoop down out of the trees and compose songs just for you. The <laughs> keeper, my whole clan will object if we... Not that they can possibly hate me anymore, I suppose. Ooh. I'll apologize to them later. I'll even pretend to be sorry. Meryl. It's all right. Wow. The clipping. <laughs> I like ate her whole face. That was amazing. Sorry, cringe. What happens now? Are we... What did this mean? <laughs> I meant nothing. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> You know, we might have to try that a few more times to really get the meaning. <laughs> I love you. I probably shouldn't have said that, did I? I always say the stupidest things. Uh -oh. I was thinking of scandalizing the neighbors by having my Dalish lover move in. What do you think? Here, in Hightown. The rich, fancy part of the city with no rats in it. And you. With an elf. Ma Venon. You really are crazy, aren't you? If you're not afraid, then... Neither am I. Yeah, it's only slightly better than Dragon Age love scenes. <laughs> Prince, I told him to stay off the bed. Arana's a patient music teacher, but Meryl should really just stick to magic. Huh. There are a few different things, I guess. Enchantment? No, not enchantment. Leandra. <laughs> Hold on a second. Okay, I'm almost sure that we need to talk to the Era Shock before we do this quest. I'm going to save just in case that's not true. And we're gonna go right there. Enchantment. Oh, maybe not. Okay. No, Leandra. Leandra. Shouting won't make him understand you better, you know. There you are. Where's your mother? Is she feeling all right? I'm sure she's all right. Why are you so upset? Your mother didn't show up for our weekly visit. Is she ill? She is here, isn't she? No, Camlin. We haven't seen her all day. Where could she be? With her suitor, perhaps? Suitor? Leandra never mentioned a suitor. Well, those lilies arrived for her this morning. White lilies? I know something about that. Don't just leave me waiting. What is it? 
There's a killer in Kirkwall who sends his victims white lilies before he takes them. He's murdered several women already. No. You're wrong. Leandra is fine. Aveline will get the city guard to keep an eye out. Don't worry, Uncle. All... all right. That girl will know what to do. Maybe... maybe Leandra took another path to my house. I could have just missed her. I'm going back to Lowtown. You should help Gamlin look for your mother. You might be able to track her more easily once night falls and the streets empty out. All right. The boy and I will stay here in case she returns. Go to the docks, then we'll give Aveline her gift, and then we'll look for our mother. I know, priorities, right? <laughs> Luckily, I'm about 100% sure that there's no reason why we shouldn't uh, do this stuff first. Like, there's no consequences for delaying this. All are forbidden. So, human, my delegate was taken from the Viscount's doorstep, and he still claims control of this city. I thought it impossible, but I respect him even less. How do you explain the condition of their bodies? A fanatic used them to incite others of his kind. I accept that. Well, that was easy. I have seen every vice and weakness of your kind. And how few of you take responsibility. Your Viscount remains a fool. But you are not. Panahedan, Hawk. I will keep one good thought about your kind. <laughs> Glad you have earned your respect. Not that I really understand the Kunari. Sometimes I think I get close, and then other times I'm like, what the hell is wrong with these people? It's definitely an interesting society, that's for certain. We're going to give Aveline her here. gift. I've been waiting all day. The shield of the knight herself. It's different here as captain. Feels like family. I have something for you. Do you now? A shield? Oh, and worn by the one true Sir Aveline. Lovely. Oh. Thank you. I'm sorry. I don't see where I went wrong. I had a shield. It belonged to Wesley. It was difficult to let it go, but I did so. Utility over sentiment, right? We sold it, didn't we? And here I thought I was being nice. If you didn't think this would upset me, what was your intent? It's not enough to want you to be happy. Happy is for fools. Okay. It's not the shield, is it? No, and it's not Wesley. You've got me doing a lot of things. Some I don't agree with. Some I'm surprised I do. I'm not sure where I'm going as it is. Replacing what I was with this. I mean, who is Sarah Aveline to me? It seems odd you don't feel a kinship. You don't feel the name fits you. I didn't choose my name. Aveline was a wish my father made. I am similar to what he pictured, but that's because of what I try to be, not what I assume I should. Sir Aveline was a fine figure, but I don't revere failure, however glorious.
I thought of you when I found it. Maybe that was foolish. I can appreciate that. Then accept it on those merits. Nothing more. It is... a fine shield. You do know that Orlesian Smith slapped Sir Aveline's name on every second piece of armor. This didn't really belong to her. It does now. Ah. Alright, what's that shield like? Is it, is it any good? Where is it? Is she equipping it now? Oh, she is. 100% of basic attack damage versus enemies that attack in melee. So it's uh, thorns. Reflect damage. Well, that's definitely interesting. Do I like that better than... That would be a very nice shield for a DPS warrior. She is not, though. We can probably sell this. Well, at least she got a she got a level up. I think I could probably respect her really soon. So that way she basically has this one and immovable on her. And then I can, that'll free her up. So that way she can, yeah, that, that uses more stamina. But that'll free her up. That way she's able to do more damage too. We'll see. All right, we don't have any others, right? Side quests. Give me one sec, guys. All right, so there's actually one more place that we can go for this. I think we haven't been. I have a horrible memory, guys. I apologize. We're going to go to the Bone Pits. I don't think we've actually been there during this expansion, or during... I don't think we've been there yet during Act 2. I guess we'll see. If we get there and we've already done it, then we have another place to check, but I don't think we'll, it'll come to that. That's what I get for taking forever on these games, is uh, forget things. Nah, there's evidence we haven't been here. <laughs> Actually, we probably should, uh, we probably should get Meryl out of our party, now that I think about it. Go to Merrill's home. That's the shortest load screen. I think. <laughs> Normally. Yeah, there we go. Alright, we're gonna get... 
Varric. Good old Varric. All right. We actually might have another quest down here, so. <laughs> Since we haven't been in this area at all, you know, I wouldn't be surprised. All right, let's get everybody's sustainables going. I have a little bit of an idea. You know what? Should be fine. Thank the Maker you're here. We've had to lock down the mines. Krenkovich was clearing out a collapsed section when giant spiders poured out the new opening. They got Krenkovich. Poor sot. The rest of us made it out. But now we're sitting here with our thumbs up our asses. I'll see what I can do. Good luck in there, hero. Wentworth's Six Finger. Sir Phileas often repeats a time-honored sermon about Brother Wentworth. She is sometimes outside the Chantry. There's a cave here, huh? Ha, <laughs> cool. We found it in Corrupted Lyrium. Another one, Varric? Alright, let's redo 
hats. Okay. Now we're good. Here we go. Ha. Might as well take advantage of that, too. Oh, it's so easy to forget that he's basically fully leveled. That's one of one of the oversights in this game, I think. Alright, let's see. Did we pro progress the quest? Find the Fell Grimoire, an ancient text which Taroni, Tarona learned much of her blood magic. It is somewhere in Darktown. Okay. Guess we'll have to do that before we go save our mother too. <laughs> oh, jeez. Alright, let's clear the spiders out. Hear that ominous roar, huh? Where the hell are you? Alright, to the spider cave. Guys, I'll try to remember to uh, skip through the loading screens. That way you're not sitting there w waiting through them with me. That should do it. Probably something I've been I should have been doing this whole time, huh? Oh, immediately. Right out the gate. And a spider queen, too. Go through that spider queen like a hot knife through butter. How about some heals? Thank you. Is that it? Oh, okay. Well, that was quick. Glad we don't have to fully explore this cave again. Although we're going to do it anyway, at least uh, as much as it'll let us. Make sure that we're not leaving anything behind, right? Good there. And over here. Cool. 
All right, let's go. Turn this quest in, and then we can find the uh, that tome and forbidden tome, and I think it's called the Fell Grimoire or something in Dark Town. Of course, it's in Dark Town. Why would where, why wouldn't it be any? Why would it be anywhere else? Like the Chantry, you know. All clear. Thank the maker and thank you. Wow, is that what the inside of a spider smells like? <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Let's get back to work, boys. And dibs on the spider fangs. I'm gonna make a necklace for the Y. Well, it looks like there's a good. They're in a good situation for you know for Reldens compared compared to other situations they could be in. Probably why they're so happy is because they're working for me. <coughs> Hubert, Hubert would probably be treating them differently otherwise. Alright, Dark Town. Forbidden knowledge. Alrighty. Oh, cheer up, Blondie. You're making me cry just looking at you. Don't. You made a mistake. It happens. I almost killed a girl. You've killed 254 by my last count. Plus about 500 men, a few dozen giant spiders, and at least two demons. It's not the same. Why? Because this one you feel bad about? Maybe that's the problem. That he doesn't feel bad about almost killing a little girl? No. <laughs> Somehow I don't think that's the problem. Nice try though, Barry. Ooh, evil pit. That's ominous. Well, immediately traps. All set. Wait, this is, is this the deep roads? An entrance to the deep roads in the in Dark Town. There we go. Ow! That didn't actually hurt us that much, surprisingly enough. have immovable activated so the key for this quest is don't read any of the books destroy them all while Meryl's not in the party you'll get all the XP and then the very last book read it and then you'll get, I think you get a bonus stat or something like that. I forget what it is, but you get something other than XP as well. So that's the most efficient way to do this quest. And the best thing of all is it doesn't actually affect the story at all um, in a negative way. If your companions, otherwise, if you do it correctly, your companions won't approve or disapprove of your reading. And you'll get all the uh, free XP and the bonus stat point or uh, skill point, whichever you end up getting.
through them pretty quick. Varric's doing, like, a ton of damage, I think. It looks like my dog, uh, disarmed all the traps for me. Took my, uh, took my XP, though. Jeez. Yeah, we're just blowing through everything, man. Varric's, like, super powerful, I think. That's that's the one. There's the Fell Grimoire. Here we go. You found one of Tyrone's books. The pages are filled with the secrets of blood magic. You feel a stirring of power as you look upon it. We're going to read this one. As you read the pages, the words change before your eyes. Fleeting sentences offer tantalizing secrets. The book offers power in exchange for a promise to leave it alone afterwards. We accept. <laughs> your eyes can barely keep up with the words as they dance across the page. Knowledge courses through your skull. It ends and you feel stronger. You also find it harder, hard to even glance at the book. Well, let's put our new our uh, new stat in here. So two two stat points is what we got, which is cool. I'll take that. All right, so we're getting a demon boss. Looks like. Almost, almost so close. Don't heal, please. Yes! Nice. Oh, there's a revenant. Great. So we need to go attack that revenant. Revenant. Uh, there we go. Oh. Okay. We're gonna resurrect.
I don't know where he fell. He fell back there, I guess. Yeah, there he is. Damn it. <laughs> no. Oh shit, don't kill me. Pretty much our last chance here. Oh boy. Wow. We just got owned. <laughs> oh, I don't know what to do. I should have buffed everybody this i knew this was probably going to be a hard fight but i thought we could do it oh okay yeah. Oh, man. That did not end well. Uh, please work. Okay. So this time we're going to buff up. What was that? <laughs> All right, so we got poisons. Everybody's going to have their potions as well. We'll give Varric a mighty offense potion. You can have a mighty defense potion, or rock armor, I guess is what it's called. You get a mighty offense, and I get a mighty offense. There we go. Okay, I think we're, I think it's just about as ready as we're going to get for this, so. Alright. Read the book. Skip, skip. Accept the book's deal. All right, we'll put our points in. I think we should put in a little bit of uh, constitution, get ourselves a little bit of health, health too. Okay, she's putting on a movable. Yeah, I think that's probably what killed, killed her last time. Was that she died with the movable on? 
And when she came back to life, it was probably on cooldown. She couldn't put it back on. Or something. I don't know. So this time we're going to take a different tack. We're going to have her go right after right after the boss and taunt. And we're going to destroy everything. First things first. You go ahead and use that. Oh no, now we have Zebin Keck and the Revenant to deal with. This is definitely the worst tactic. Get. Maybe we'll get it. We'll get it. I hope. How about you use that? Jeez. This is crazy, man. Got 
three rage demons, a revenant, and seven keck. All right. He goes. Get that revenant down. There we go. What? Why? taunt you need some of this what you need there you go now you taunt you're gonna use a group heal Get her down, get her down. Oh, so close. Oh, very good. Okay. Now, we can focus on the Rage Demons. Oh, man, I'm so glad we got this.
Wow, man. That's a rough fight. Oh, shit. The Avalid still died. Oh, my gosh. That was rough. <laughs> At least we got through it. <laughs> that was not pretty, though, man. It's like I forgot about kiting or something. Kiting is, like, important, and for some reason I just... I always forget about it as a tactic. This will be good for uh, Meryl if I decide to make her Blood Mage spec. Which might be actually uh, viable in this game. Honestly, I don't know. Probably not. Tactics-wise, it's kind of a mess. At least it was in Dragon Age Origins. Blood Mage is great if you're the controlling character. Otherwise, you got to really micromanage them. All right. Good job. Be... So now in the next uh, video, we'll be able to take care of, uh, you know, finding our mother. <laughs> Which we put on hold for power. Pursuits of power. Uh, we're so bad. Well, I hope you guys enjoy the video. I did. And uh, if you did, please like and subscribe. And we'll see you guys on the next one. I hope you have a good night.